Hey, what's up guys? If you're tuning in for the first time, this is our video about our top 10 hacks for van life. We are Trent and Allie. We've been living in a self-converted ProMaster camper van for about the last two years. We are currently traveling through South America. We've learned a lot living in the van the past few years, and there are definitely some things that make it a little bit easier. So for anyone living in a van or aspiring to live in a van, these are a few tips we've picked up that we thought you might find helpful. All right, so tip number one has to do with your ceiling fan or your roof vent fan. If you don't have a roof vent fan in your van, a roof vent fan in your van, if you don't have a roof fan in your van, you're probably gonna be miserable. The roof fan actually helps extract smells and gases and things from when you're cooking and just moves fresh air through. But the hack is not the actual roof fan. Anybody that has a roof fan that uses it frequently, you know that you get this foamy, linty, sticky dust that forms on the screen. If you're new to van life or you haven't lived in a van, you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sure, but it's kind of like the dryer vent in your dryer. You have to clean out the lint all the time, but since you're cooking, it becomes sticky. And it's like very hard to clean off without making a mess. We have the perfect solution. A handheld vacuum. This is an easy, super convenient way to clean off the roof vent fan really quickly. Super easy way to just vacuum off the lint. No mess, no fuss, doesn't get wet or sticky. Try it, it's amazing. Most van lifers have a little handheld vacuum, but a lot of people don't think to use it on the roof vent. So next time you get a lot of film on the roof vent, go ahead and use the vacuum. Hack number two is how to save space and stay clean at the same time. We for a very long time had these thick, beautiful, cushy towels with us to shower, but big comfortable towels are not van life friendly. Not only do they take up a lot of space, but they take forever to dry, which means your bath towel is probably gonna smell like mildew, and that's just something that you're gonna have to deal with. So we ended up switching over to backpacking towels or lightweight, quick drying towels. These things are amazing. You can hang them, they dry in maybe an hour, hour and a half, whereas a regular towel can take all night and sometimes the next day, by the time you go to use it again, it's still wet. This is something that we've found extremely useful. Our third hack is how to store wine properly. So some of you might not drink, some of you might like a little glass of wine with your dinner at the end of a long day. We love a glass of red wine, but it's hard sometimes when you're moving into different temperatures and climates to keep your wine in a dry, cool location, the way wine is supposed to be stored. So we actually found that sticking the wine into our dirty clothes hamper is probably the best place in our van to one, keep it protected from rolling around and breaking, two, to keep it nice and dry and cool. There's no sun exposure. It doesn't get super hot underneath the bed where we keep our dirty clothes hamper. So maybe it sounds kind of gross to you, but it's been the best place we could find so far. Obviously this only works for unopened bottles of wine. <laughs> Number four is gonna be a hack that I actually picked up from some friends that were in the military that told me about it. And the way that they pack their clothes is that they roll them up into little tiny burritos. <laughs> this is not only efficient for space, but it also makes it easy that when you've stacked your clothes in these little rolls, you can pull one out and it doesn't mess up the whole stack. When I used to fold my clothes into a big, you know, regularly how you fold clothes into a square and then you stack them, when you go to pull one out, it destroys the whole stack and everything's a mess. Not to mention it's not a very efficient use of space. We have small cabinets, so now that I roll the clothes, I can stack them in there. Everything stays put, especially when we're driving and going around corners, and I can pull out one individually without ruining everything. Huge hack, especially if you have a lot of clothes on the road. <laughs> So hack number five is actually an electric ball valve on your gray tank. Now this doesn't mean drain your gray tank all over the place in a Walmart parking lot, anywhere that you want, but it's just a really easy way to flip a switch to be able to drain your gray water out of your gray tank when you're in a field or a dirt road or maybe over a gutter or somewhere where it's actually supposed to be disposed of. And just for reference, your gray water is shower and sink runoff. We only use biodegradable soaps and maybe there's a little bit of like food particles or dirt in there. So it shouldn't be harmful to the environment, but you don't want to just open your gray tank in the middle of the city. Right. It's not hazardous material, but maybe it stinks or maybe it's gross and you don't want to just be dropping it all over the place. But like I said, this is a lot easier than getting underneath the van and opening a valve or doing something along those lines. You just have a little flip. You just have a little switch that you flick and you're ready to go. Number six is a big one and it is how to deal with bugs. If you're like me, bugs love you. I don't know why they don't bite Trent, but they just swarm to me, they flock to me. It's a huge nightmare when you go anywhere with any mosquitoes. They just tell all their friends, 
they come looking for me. So we found that a bug net on the open slider door works really well, but that's not the hack. The hack is an electric fly swatter. No matter what you do, bugs are gonna get inside. Maybe it's one, maybe it's two, maybe it's 25, depending on where you are in your situation. But no matter how many bugs get inside the van, maybe it takes us 10 minutes to go around with the electric bug swatter. You get them all, then you can go to bed and you don't have to worry about getting bit. And it is so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Now, number seven is a little bit different type of a hack because it's only gonna work for people that have shower faucets like ours. Our shower faucet has handles that are horizontal and you rotate them downwards to turn them on. In a tight space like our shower, those handles get bumped. There is nothing worse than going to the bathroom and accidentally turning on the shower. <laughs> or just thinking that you're reaching in to maybe grab the broom or something and hitting the handle and turning on the shower with everything in the shower. So what I did is I took a foam noodle, I cut it to a certain length and I slid it down one side. You pop it right over the top of the handles and now they can't bend independently. Problem solved. And if you're going swimming, you have a, a pool noodle with you in the van. <laughs> Our number eight hack is really important for regulating the temperature of your living space and also helping to keep your van stealthy. You don't always want people to know that you're sleeping in here or that you're hanging out in your van, and this is the perfect solution for that. So we have window covers that are actually from vanmadegear.com that are magnetized, that stick around the windows, they block out the heat, they block out the light, and you can remove them by just simply pulling on them. Also, we have a blackout curtain that's mounted in between the cab and the living space. This makes it so that light doesn't pass through and people can't see in. Also, the blackout curtain and the window covers create a nice, insulating layer so that when you got it hot inside the van and it's cold outside, you can keep it hot or when it's hot outside and it's nice and cool in the van from the night before, you can keep that cold air as long as possible. We can be in here at night with all the lights on, having a little dance party, and no one outside can tell that we're in here. So number nine is kind of a dirty subject, but it's something that we've learned over time, not only having a composting toilet, but sometimes you don't always wanna use the shower, and number nine is baby wipes or adult wipes. In the States, <laughs> they have adult wipes. In Central and South America, where we are and where we've been, they don't necessarily have adult wipes, so you end up using baby wipes, but they're really great for cleaning off your feet, maybe freshening up, or using them to go to the bathroom. We have a shower, but we don't always wanna use it because the water we have is pretty precious and we try to save it as much as we can. I honestly never thought in my life that I would love baby wipes so much, but they're a huge lifesaver. Our 10th hack has to do with keeping clean in the van. If you're like me, you're the one that does the dishes. And if you do the dishes, you know that sometimes your sponge can start to smell like mildew or a little bit moldy. It can just kind of collect things and start to get a little gross. This is something that when people are living in a house, they don't really pay too much attention to. They just leave it on the counter, maybe let it dry out and then it doesn't smell as much. Or it's just a smell that's around the sink and so they don't really worry about it. Well, in a van, that smell that's around the sink is your entire van. <laughs> and I hate the smell of a nasty, mildewy sponge. So what we've got for hack number 10. Silicone sponges. These are super cheap. You can pick them up on Amazon or at probably Walmart or any other big store. They don't get mildewy because the silicone doesn't actually absorb anything. You can put soap on it, you wash your dishes, you rinse it off, it's good as new. They're amazing. When I first started using the silicone sponges, I was pretty resistant. I didn't know how well they would work. They take a little bit of getting used to, but they are incredible and they last for many months at a time. They're honestly something that I would probably even still use in a house. Yeah. All right, guys, well, that does it for our 10 van life hacks. All the products that we talked about that you can purchase, we're gonna leave links in the description so you guys can click on those to see what we're talking about or how much they cost and whatnot. Also, if you guys wanna follow our journeys, we're traveling through South America right now, make sure you click the subscribe button below the video and click the notification bell so that you get an email or a notification every time we post a new video. Please like the video if this was helpful for you guys. We really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Hey, what's up guys? If you're turning, <laughs> Also, we have a, if you are turning, also we have a, <laughs> Either that if you don't have a roof fan <laughs> if you don't have a roof vent van <laughs> dang it <laughs>